Hi, I'm Broadus Palmer, and this is GCP This Month, where we will round up and discuss the latest news on the Google Cloud Platform. In this episode, we'll be covering everything from GKE new custom organization policy, Google Cloud's backup and disaster recovery, and Google Next live stream in October. So sit back and enjoy this episode of GCP This Month. We're starting off with our quick bike segment. Google is announcing the PubSub metrics dashboard. Now, when you work with PubSub, you had to deep dive to be able to find metrics and understand PubSub. Now, with one-click integration from your topics or subscriptions dashboard, you're able to see and analyze all of your PubSub data form, published metrics count, average metrics size, and lifecycle changes. And you can take advantage of the dashboard with this new quota section that you can stay on top of any metrics that are seeding your quota. Google Cloud Deploy now lets you interact with Cloud Run and is now available in 14 additional regions to support parity with Cloud Build. Google Cloud Deploy allows you to automate the delivery of your applications to targets within Google Cloud. Now, you can run Google Cloud Deploy to deploy your containers in target Cloud Run, and you can target services directly in your YAML file. Now, to support equality with Cloud Build, you have 14 additional regions you can run G Cloud Deploy in. Happy birthday, Google. We've just celebrated Google's birthday on September 27th, and I couldn't be more excited to say I'm a proud advocate of Google Cloud. Now, Google has been a leader in innovation for years and will be for years to come. Now, keep your eye out on Google releasing more amazing technology that would allow you to focus more on multi-cloud solutions sometime in the future. Now, that's it for our quick bites. Let's head into our GCP gems. Google has noticed that a lot of teams are facing security roadblocks with deploying multiple products. They have now solved your problems by simply using organizational policy service for your GKE workloads. What does this mean? This means you can use the custom organizational policy to define and tailor security guardrails for your GKE workloads based on your business need. Now, this also means that you can maintain consistent security standards across teams and services through a framework that the custom organizational policy provides that will let you enforce across your organization. It will allow you to manage your security and best practices through policies to ensure your entire organization follows and define your custom policy restraints right within the YAML file because custom organizational policy for GKE comes at no additional cost. Now, if you're looking to drive efficiency through consistency when using GKE, then look no further because custom organization policy for GKE is right for your organization. We know in this time, backup and disaster recovery plans are imperative to any organization operating in the tech space. Now, Google's understanding of maximizing your backup value and minimizing your total cost of ownership is next level as they introduce cloud backup and DR. Now, Google has given you a managed centralized service to protect everything in one place from your VMs, DBs, and file services. Now, here are a few benefits that you can get from using Cloud Backup and DR. You'll get instant recovery. Think about what can happen. Regardless of someone's not handling your environment with care or malicious activity, you now have the benefit of a service that relies on incremental forever backups, offering low recovery time objective and recovery point objective, reducing the space required for your backups and reducing the total cost of ownership because Google Cloud's effort to use incremental forever backups allows Cloud backup and disaster recovery to take an initial backup to sequence backups and only store data associated with the changes prior to that backup. Now, nevertheless, this is a service that is much needed, especially when it comes to protecting your enterprise data. Google Next 2022 will be live October 11th through 13th. Yes, you heard that right. This year's Google Next event will be live in October, and I, for one, don't plan to miss. It's built on build, analyze, design, modernize, operate, secure, collaborate, and innovate. This two-day event will be action-packed with nothing but awesome next-level innovation like the Fly Cup Challenge and key insights from the Google Cloud executive team. You can explore over 200 sessions that are live and on-demand, hands-on keyboard experiences with the developer community, and you can create your own playlist that you can directly serve the content that you want to see out of this event. Yes, I've told you before, it's going to be action packed. So we hope that you can make it and interact with all the great sessions that Google Cloud has lined up for you. Now, if you're looking to get started in cloud or boost your career, we're inviting you to get cloud happy. 
Until the end of the year, we're giving away free training for Amazon's Cloud Practitioner Certification, Microsoft's AZ900 Fundamental Certification, and Google Cloud's Digital Leader Certification, as well as the HashiCorp Certified Terraform Associate and Certified Kubernetes Administrator. So if you're ready to get your head in the clouds, check out the link in the description and sign up for free and boost your cloud career now. Now that's all we have for this month's Google Cloud Platform releases. Tune into next month's video. I'm Bradis, and I'll see you next time on GCP This Month.